Convención Panamericana Nike, or the Pan American Nike Conference, or COPANI. Uh, my name is Ryan Takamiya, and it is an honor to be your MC for the conference, and we are, uh, it's also an honor for us to be hosting this important conference here in San Francisco. extend the most heartfelt welcome to all attendees to the 20th Pan American Nikkei Convention in San Francisco. It is the aspirin Nikkei communities of how they will sustain the region. It is time to let them take responsibility of leadership. Let us be good mentors and share our knowledge with them. Let us move forward together to honor our pioneer ancestors. For it is they, if they had not taken... Thank you so much, Roji, for your leadership. And now, Joining us from Lima, Peru, please welcome the president of the Pan American Nikkei Association, Fernando Suenaga Pinillos. Señor Excelentísimo, Señor Consul Tomochica Uyama, Consul General del Japón en San Francisco, Señor Satoru Sato, embajador del Japón para la, por el cargo de la colaboración del Consulado Nacional, embajador para todos los países de Nikkei. Señor Ryotsuke Kamono, cónsul de San Francisco, de, de San Francisco. Señor Presidente de la Asociación Panamericana Nike, agradece al señor Roger Oyama, Presidente de la Comisión Organizadora La 20 Copani Don San Francisco 2019. Un agradecimiento por él por su organización y su directiva. Very much, Mr. Pinillos. Muchas gracias, señor Pinillos. Our next esteemed guest to help us open our program has served in his current role since January of 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Consul General of Japan in San Francisco,
Tomochika Uyama. Yes, ahoy wa gozaimasu. Good morning. My name is Tomochika Uyama, Consul General of Japan in San Francisco. I'm delighted to address you at the opening of the 20th Biennial Convention of Pan American Nikkei. I'd like to congratulate Mr. Fernando Suenaga, uh, President of Pan American Nikkei Association, and everyone here uh, who came all the way to San Francisco. And welcome to San Francisco. First of all, I'd like to express my deep gratitude to the very hardworking COPANI 2019 Organizing Committee, headed by Mr. Roji Oyama, for hosting this convention. This committee and their volunteers undertook extraordinary efforts to put together this convention for everyone. So please join me in a round of applause for them. <laughs> Next, I'd like to thank our keynote speaker, our Secretary Norman Mineta, uh, for honoring us with his presence and sharing his unique story with us here today. We appreciate your time and generosity. And thank you to all the wonderful speakers and panelists who have volunteered their time for this convention. Good morning. Konnichiwa. Buenos dias. Honorable Señor Norman Mineta, Ex-Secretario de Comercio y de Transporte, Señor Fernando Strienaga, Presidente de la Asociación Panamericana Nike, Señor Tomochika Uyama, Consul General de Japón en San Francisco, Señor Roji Oyama, Presidente del Comité Organizador Copani 2019. Distinguida conferencia, es un gran placer para mí poder expresar mis felicitaciones en representación del gobierno y del pueblo japonés por la celebración de la memorable vigésima Convención Panamericana Nike aquí en San Francisco, un lugar de hermosos escenarios y de alta tecnología que tiene una estrecha relación con el Japón, contando con numerosos participantes de países americanos. Me siento muy honrado de tener la oportunidad de asistir a este trascendental evento. Abre sostuvo diálogos con las comunidades Nike de México, Ciudad de Tobago, Colombia, Chile y San Paulo entre julio y agosto del 2014, Los Ángeles en el 2015, Cuba, Perú, Argentina y Hawái en el 2016, Uruguay y Paraguay en diciembre del año pasado, Ottawa, Canadá en el abril de este año. El primer ministro Abe está tratando de fortalecer la colaboración con la comunidad Nike utilizando las herramientas gubernamentales y privadas de todo el Japón. Quite a quest. We encountered Secretary Mineta at the campus, which is our Asian American Film Festival, over a year ago. And we accosted him. We said, would you be interested? in being our keynote speaker at our event. And he said, well, me. And it took about four and a half months of pursuit. <laughs> and we were persistent. And finally, we were so grateful that he had accepted our invitation to be our keynote speaker. So what we're going to do is show a short trailer. There is a wonderful Bio, biography about Secretary Mineta's life. And Diane Fukami, unfortunately, who produced this film, um, she is on her wedding anniversary, but she sends her greetings to Secretary Mineta and to all of you. And we will provide information for those of you who are interested in acquiring a copy of this film. So at this point, uh, we are going to show the trailer and then invite Secretary Mineta up on the stage.
Mr. Luther for the way on the main screen. So it's an honor now to introduce Honorable Secretary Norman Y. Mineta. steering wheel, you also have a rear view mirror in which you look back to the experiences, recall the kind of uh, We have a microphone over here. Uh, please raise your hand. We will get you the microphone and uh, you may ask a question. Are there any questions? My name is Lorreen Oikawa. I'm president of the National Association of Japanese Canadians, so from Canada. Um, thank you so much to the organizers, and thank you, Senator Minata. It's, I'm just thrilled to hear you speak. Uh, so my question for you in light of current political climate is, what were your, some of your challenges dealing with the different administrations, uh, Mr. Clinton and Mr. Bush? When uh, I was running a, a small company, transportation company for Lockheed Martin, and uh, about seven o'clock one night, I'm ready to go home. I had my briefcase packed with stuff to take home, and the phone rang, and I'm looking at the phone saying, do I want to answer that? And I'm looking at the phone going, yes, no, yes, no. So I finally picked up the phone, and uh, it was uh, President Clinton's uh, chief of staff, John Podesta, calling, saying that Secretary of Commerce Bill Daley was leaving the post to go run the Gore campaign. And the boss has given me this short list of names to consider for Secretary of Commerce, and your name is on that list. Uh, would you be interested? So I said, John, you want me to crawl through the telephone wire right now to your office to give you my answer? And he said, oh, okay, I'll put you down for yes. <laughs> and on Thursday morning, President Clinton called and said, Norm, I'm sending your name up to the Senate this morning, nominating you for Secretary of Commerce. So those were two of my two phone interviews for the job of Secretary of Commerce. And it was in that last year of the Clinton administration. So I came into office actually in um, June of 2000 and was there until uh, the 17th of January of 2001.
name is Alejandro Casu, I'm from Mexico. I have this question, when during your term as Secretary of Commerce and Transportation, besides the event of the Centenary Latin incident, what was, your, what was your toughest decision that you ever made, and what was your reasoning about taking that decision? Well, and I was mayor of San Jose, when we were making that transition from a agricultural community to high tech. And uh, I didn't know that much about high tech, but I knew the leaders in the high tech industry. And uh, so consequently, the, city of the city's population when I started as mayor was 320,000. And in four years, it went to 580,000. So it, uh, we had a great deal of growth. And we um, went from that agriculture community to what is known today as Silicon Valley. And uh, so uh, in that uh, relationship, you know, we had many, many companies. And when I was mayor, I would go to Japan and try to get Japanese high-tech companies to come to San Jose. And one of the companies I called on all the time was a company called Kyoto Ceramics. Today it's known as Kyocera. And uh, Dr. Inamori was the founder of that company. And uh, so in two years he came to me and he said, you know, you're right, uh, Kyoto Ceramics belongs here in California. And so we have this. probably one of the most telling uh, pieces of uh, the advocacy of this administration. Many of our parents today would not have been able to come into the country based on what he is trying to establish as um, the kind of people he wants or the kind of people he wants to come to the United States. I remember one time he said, uh, we need more Norwegians. Uh, and then today, as he sets uh, requirements on kind of people, high tech, highly educated, uh, immigrants don't come generally with a high degree of education, they come with a yearning for, for a, a, a ability and the opportunities that a free and democratic society provides. Um, and yet, uh, what he's saying today uh, would keep our own parents, our Issei's from immigrating today to the United States. And, uh, and then to use um, a violation of uh, immigrant law to say the parent is has a criminal intent, and therefore a child is to be separated from the, the parents. It just is a terrible approach. Um, there was a... Actually, I'm from Toronto, Canada, the uh, home of the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was at the parade. Uh, now, um, in Canada, the intern well, in the U.S., the internment was ended by a Supreme Court decision before the end of the war, the unanimous decision by the uh, Supreme Court that uh, the government couldn't detain its citizens. Uh, however, in Canada, uh, around the same time, the uh, Privy Council upheld the 
decision that Canada could deport its own citizens to Japan. Uh, the Japanese Canadians were not allowed to return to uh, the protected zone and they were dispossessed. So, um, there, uh, I was just wondering, Mr. Mineta, how you feel about what your opinion is of the strength of the U.S. Constitution, your faith in it, or any observations you might have of the difference between the Canadian Constitution and the U.S. Constitution. A, uh, a display of books from the Air 05. Thank you.